Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been really inspired lately just to do bronzy summery makeup using a few of my favorite pieces and some pieces in my makeup collection that have been shoved to the very back and I completely forgot about until I did a clean out. So I hope that this is a fun look for you to do and there's going to be some palettes in here that you most likely own at home and it's just a different way to kind of put them together and bring them out again for the summer season. So if you want to see how we did this look, just keep on watching. So for the first color, we're going to be taking the Ciate London with Chloe Morello palette. And I'm going to take the shade Unconditionally, which is a really nice, almost off orange color. And this is going to be used for the crease. In the palette, out of all the colors, I find this one is the best to use as a transitional crease shade. Um, and I like putting it on first, then I can build the colors up around it. The business, let's go. We got that Coca-Cola bottle shake, shake, shake. We got that sugar, do you want it? Taste, taste, taste. We take it all around the globe, baby, everywhere we go. Make it hot when mama rock and shake, shake, shake. Like, oh. With all the new palettes that keep coming out at Sephora and all the new makeup brands, I keep forgetting about my Naked Urban Decay palette, the first original one. Um, and there's actually some really good shades in here, some staple shades. So for my outer corner today, I'm going to be taking the shade Dark Horse. And I just find it's a really nice brown that has a little bit of like an olive green reflect in it. gorgeous shade expensive pink this is going to be right on the lid closer to the inner corner so it's going to blend with our becca opal highlight that we're going to be applying but how much gold can your body take 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 every time i come around no you know it's going down make it hot when my maraca shake 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 like oh And just with an average blending brush, I'm just going to blend a little bit on the lid to merge those colors so that you don't see a line. I think this is a really important step if you really want to have everything merged together. And taking a black skinny liner, mine is the Clinique Skinny Line. I'm just going to be lining my lash line right into the inner corner and connecting right to the outer part of the eye. And as you can see, watering the waterline really makes your eyes appear a lot smaller. You can change your eye shape, but it really closes the eye in and gives you more of that smoky effect. The liner brush, we're just going to go over that to kind of smooth it out. With 
with what is left of dark horse on your original blending brush you're just gonna go back and forth on your bottom eyelid I think this was originally used because girls like me who don't want to waste the makeup wanted to use what was left <laughs> and it also just ties the whole look together and makes it equal bottom and top. So you have to have a balance to your eye and sometimes depositing the last of the shadow to smoke it out gives you that balance pulling the eye look together. Everybody knows I love my highlighter and I like adding a little bit of a pop to the eyes and the makeup look. So to do this today, I'm going to be using Becca and this is the shade Opal and it is the highlighter. As you can see, I've hit pan on it because this is one of my top favorites. Um, but I'm just going to be taking it and putting it right in the center to highlight And it's just going to add a pop of light since the rest of the eye is pretty dark and smoked out. It's going to give it a pop of color that you're really going to see and it will pick up in photos and videos. And I'm just going to also blend it right into Max Expensive Pink. For mascara of choice today, I'm using the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. No le eche la culpa a Ina, que ella solo vino a bailar. Shay Calvin, Ina, la combinación mundial. Soy Latina, baby, soy Latina, baby. Ok, let's party, say ole. Soy Latina y la noche, we own it, baby. Ok, let's party, say ole. Now, has anyone else gone through their makeup collection and come across things that you've completely forgot that you bought and they're barely used and they're at the very back of the cupboards of all of your makeup stash? Well, that happened to me and I found this, I believe it's Maybelline? No. L'Oreal. I feel like this is a L'Oreal blush. It's called Honey Bunch and it has the rose blush in it a peach and then like a bronzy shade this one here so it was barely used but i'm thinking that's a really nice color for summer so we're gonna apply this today as our blush and i'm just gonna go right in the center i'm not gonna pick any such shade i'm just gonna swirl it because i think that's what these are kind of meant to do So this is kind of like a bronzy, corally blush. And like, I just love coming across things that I've like forgot that I owned. And then you can pull them and make a new makeup look with them. Now that's coming out like really bright on camera. I can see it right now, but in person it's more deeper. It kind of looks like more of a tan on camera it's coming out like bright almost pink but it's not that bright in person the choice of highlight today is gonna be the lightning dust in crystal fire by Fenty Beauty um, and I just really like the appear of this one and it's almost like again light it's a very light one so it will bring light and attraction because the rest of this look is pretty bronzy and dark Apply a little bit underneath the brow bone. I 
Do you guys see how that picks up the light? These highlighters have got to probably be my favorite of 2018 so far. I love my Becca Opals and I love the Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops for highlighting. But this one, the color payoff and the price point are just, they're a match made in heaven. Okay, and then just to add a little bit more shine on the cheek, I'm going to use the Crystal Fire, which is like the shiniest, most like runway highlight. It's like this, and then bam, you can just see so much more highlight. <laughs> For our lip liner, I'm going to use Call Me Crazy by Ramel. And then my Pride and Joy, I'm taking YSL's La Orange. These lipstick have like a really nice smell to them. It's very sweet and like I love the smell of YSL lipsticks. This bronzy bold look would be perfect for a summer night out. I know I'm going to be wearing this staple look a lot this summer. I have some events to go to and especially in the evening or at sunset if you're outside and this is catching the sun as it's going down. This kind of makeup is just mm, phenomenal. And a staple of mine for summer is YSL La Orange. If you're looking for a really good orange lipstick, I wouldn't try anything else. I've tried a few drugstores and they're okay but... The best one that I found and the most hydrating is this one and it's the Pure Color Satiny Radiance number 13. And for all my subscribers and friends who are with FabFitFun, the summer box is on the way. I got the notification that it's been shipped so in the next little while don't forget to keep an eye out on my blog, my Instagram and my YouTube channel here. I will be doing an unboxing and a review of Canadian Dollars. And I can't wait because there's some really good items in this month's box. So stay tuned for that. That is on its way as well as some more World Series makeup. Thanks again. Bye.